guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another foundation or face review well first things first before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so that way you can get notifications on my upcoming videos I am also doing a giveaway right now here on my channel so definitely check out my video on that so that way you can enter and maybe you'll win who knows right so when I came out with a foundation called the photo focus foundation and I got the cream beige and this is the darkest one in the display I don't know if this is going to actually match me but for the sake of this video I am gonna put it on I'm just gonna let it ride you know and uh, okay so I got this at Harman's if you don't know what Harman's store is it's a beauty store where they carry a lot of newly released drugstore products in there so definitely check it out it's a sister store of Bed Bath & Beyond so definitely check it out so this is what the wet and wild photo focus foundation looks like this claims to be a foundation that does not have any um, light kickback or what do you call it? photo flashback is what it's called so this is what the bottle looks like as you can see it has this really nice thick cap here and this is a glass bottle and it says wet and wild foundation and I got the shade cream beige and this is one fluid ounce and in the back it has the explanation of what this product is all about so when you open this it has a click it has a lock and you are getting this little spoolie right here where you get all of your products so that's where it distributes the products and then I also got the wet and wild pressed powder and this is what it looks like and this is this also claims to do the same thing and I got the shade golden tan and that's what it looks like it has this really really nice finish to it which I think is really awesome as well it's very finely milled and I got two concealers here from the line as well and I got the shade light medium and medium peach so this is what the concealer looks like as you can see it is very very nice it's very sturdy and when you open it it has a nice doe foot applicator so this photo focus foundation retails for $5.99 and they come with 20 shades and I do like that they have a different range of shades where they actually cater to a lot of different skin tones which I really do like so and the photo focus powder retails for $4.99 and this one comes in eight shades and the concealer retails for $3.99 and they come in six shades so the purpose of this collection is supposed to like give you that really natural and matte finish however uh, when you take photos it does not have any flashback which I think is really really great so let's go ahead and test it out I am going to be using my beauty blender on this side of my face and on this side of my face I'm going to be using a kabuki brush so for today's test I'm going to be using the baby skin instant pore eraser for this and this one is a primer from Maybelline. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I'm just gonna put it in the back of my hand first. And then apply it onto my face like so. Hopefully it matches. So I'm gonna use a damp beauty sponge. I can actually see that this is a matte finish and it's really really nice so this is the first layer and you can actually see that it has a really nice natural finish to your face it looks like it's your skin but better so I'm gonna put a second layer of this so this is what it looks like on this side with the beauty blender um, and as you can see it is really really natural looking without it being too overboard or too much and it has a nice medium coverage to it and you can definitely build this up if you want to and this is what it looks like without the foundation so so now I'm gonna finish off with this side and I'm gonna use a kabuki brush so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my kabuki brush from Tarte and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna apply this in the back of my hand and I'm going to show you what the first finish looks like. So 
this is what it looks like with just the first layer and as you can see it has a more coverage using a brush that's what always happens when you use a kabuki brush versus a beauty sponge so i'm gonna do a second layer of this so you guys can see what it looks like all right so this is what it looks like this is the beauty blender and this one is the kabuki brush and i can see right off the bat the difference and this is starting to cake a little bit and this one is a lot more thicker it has a lot more coverage this is like mostly a medium to full coverage now and i can see that this has a more of a powder matte finish so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use um a concealer now and i'm gonna use the light medium beige and we'll go from there and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this because I feel like this is way too light. I'm gonna put um, a little bit of the medium peach. And I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. It definitely has a nice finish to the face as well. Um, I really... I'm liking it so far. Hopefully it doesn't crease throughout the day. And now I'm going to finish it off with the pressed powder. I don't know if this is going to be good underneath the eye because this is a lot more darker. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, put this around my face. Alright, so this is what it looks like all set with nothing at all with just the face powder. And it feels really, really nice so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test. And I'm going to take a picture with a flash on. It does look really good. However, it does have a little bit of flashback in there. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my makeup and I will be right back. Alright guys, this is what it looks like with my makeup on. But I do not think this is my actual shade. Looking at it from my face to my neck, it looks absolutely different. But I'm going to be wearing it throughout today and check back with you guys in a little bit. It is now 1.47. So I will check back with you guys in a little bit to let you know how this foundation is holding up. Alright All right, guys, so it is now 721 and as you can see, the foundation is still holding up pretty, pretty nicely. What I did earlier after uh, I checked out was I went out, I went grocery shopping, I did some laundry, did a lot of things with the baby as well. So went out and we ate and I ate pizza. I broke two fingernails so there was a lot of things going on a lot of activities going on throughout the day so i absolutely absolutely am pleased with the finish that it is giving me as far as i'm concerned this looks still flawless to me and i really really do like it um there are some dry patches that i see around here on this area but that's where i usually get them but my blush and my highlight is still on so that is absolutely amazing so i really really do like this foundation and as far as i'm concerned it didn't really uh form any like dry patches on my skin or anything like that and another thing that i'm gonna say is that the concealer lasted for around two to three hours because now i can see my dark circles starting to show up a lot more so i would say this is more of a two to three hours wear time but the pressed powder is actually really really nice it did give me a nice matted finish to my face as well so this is great partnered up with the foundation and i really like the duo and the finish that it came with um and the only thing that i'm gonna say is that if you want a more of a full coverage definitely top this foundation off with the pressed powder that it came with so definitely check this out i would highly recommend it if you are interested in this i would also highly recommend the pressed powder that it comes with you can also definitely get a more darker shade than what i got here so you can use that as a bronzer because this is very finely milled. It's beautiful. It gives you a nice matted finish to your face. So that's what I really do like about it. Concealer, not so much. It wore off after two to three hours of wear time. This is actually really nice as well. However, it didn't last that long. So that's what I'm going to say. Because I can see my dark circles right now. It's starting to show. And 
not that fan of the concealers. However, these two are definitely a must-have in this collection. So All right, guys. So I hope this review helped you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe to my channel. And also check out my giveaway because I am currently doing it right now. So check that out, and you might just win. All right, guys. I will see you guys again next time. I love you all. Bye.